so the offensive line, we're we'll doing a presentation on, and it's going to be about how and why we have the most difficult position on the football field. So a lot of people think that us guys, we're just out there, we're just mindlessly running around, just blocking people for you know, have no sense about what we're doing, but that's not the case. We have a lot of uh, thought and process goes into it. So. All right, offensive linemen, we're large human beings, okay, obviously, we're moving a lot of weight around. That's one of, the, one of the main things. On average, if you take a football team, the biggest guys are going to be the offensive linemen. And if you just think about physics in itself, moving around 300 pounds is going to be a lot more difficult than <coughs> Constantly dealing with contact, uh, every play, you are hitting somebody, no matter what it is, uh, pass play, run play, you're always in contact. Uh, unlike other positions, sometimes you have a playoff, per se, where you wouldn't hit somebody or wouldn't do, you know. But, uh, and also, we got to be in excellent shape. Um, a lot of people think offensive linemen are just big, fat, and all they got to do is just stand there and take up space. That's not the case. Offensive linemen need to be some of the most athletic people on the field, and if they're not, then they can't do their job. Um, all right, Ian Boyd, he's a football enthusiast. He says every offense is designed. Uh, offense is in Okay. Basically, he says that. Uh, the smallest gene pool of human beings in the nation are tall, big, and still athletic. And he said each team of those has to have five guys that, um, starters, that can play that position, which is very rare. Um, all right, here we go. Intelligence is essential. Okay, tons to memorize and learn. Compared to every other position, um, opposed to the quarterback, even still, we uh, have to know the most. Um, everything from the fronts, and when I say by a front, is like if I'm playing left guard, if you know what that means, it's, the, it's he's next to the center, the guy that snaps the ball. If I'm playing left guard, if there's a guy on my inside, then he would be considered a G technique and say he's actually over on this side, then he would be a three technique. And the, the way that that would um, change, the, it would change the whole play, uh, different calls we would make, um, things like that. Uh, as I said, just different fronts and alignments. And this is one of the biggest things. Um, literally, like everything, every single play, say we're running an inside zone play, if if he if we have a, a nose guard on the inside, the well, our, ours would just be called um, we would call it like a ride or or something something like that, which means that it would be a double team with me and the center. If he's out here, then it would be uh, between me and the tackle. Okay, so it, it's just it's quick thinking. Um, the average time uh, coming from the huddle to the uh, to the line of scrimmage is four seconds and the ball is snapped by five and you need to, to um, recognize everything that's going on before plays and play calls. Um, we get our play calls from the quarterback so we'll be down in our stance. If, if the quarterback sees something in the secondary that he doesn't like, the play would be switched and we would we would have to think in our minds, alright, alright. So then we would look across the line and then we would make all the different calls um, like that. And I would also say, a lot of people would say that a defensive lineman, uh, what, what, what's opposed to them to not making any calls? Okay, well I played defense in high school and when I came to Liberty, uh, I'm an offensive lineman now, so I know, I know the differences. Like, for a defensive lineman, yeah, there's, there's stuff like uh, technique-wise, but um, when, you're, when you're playing offensive line, it's a lot more having to think about what you're doing and doing it. When you're a defensive lineman, you go out there and you just play. You just play ball. But um, so 
so it's a lot more of a mind mind game. Matthew Valencia, he's an ESPN uh, reporter. Uh, annually, offensive linemen average a higher score on the um, the Wonderlick, which is the test of uh, it's, it's a 12-minute test, 50 questions, um, and they average higher. So they have to be smart and generally are. Uh, where the base of the offense executing plays would be impossible. Obviously, you got to have 11 men on the field, and uh, the majority of the 11 men on the field are the offensive linemen, uh, which is five of us. And we must have chemistry. What I mean by that is, um, say, say, say uh, your center is having a bad game, and he stubs his toe, and he's just. He can't think anymore because he stubbed his toe, and you can't you can't have a good block if you're not both blocking together. So if if I'm blocking good and he's not blocking good, then the block isn't going to be a good block. So you have to have chemistry together. The whole offensive line has to work together, opposed to like a a defensive end. Um, the nose guard could be getting blown off the ball the whole time, and the end could have a great game just whipping the tackle the whole game. We're completely overlooked. O line receives no credit at all by the by the fans. Um, when whenever a big play is made, you say, "Wow, good good catch" or or good whatever. But in reality, that catch couldn't have been thrown if the offensive linemen weren't blocking for the quarterback. Uh, so rarely gets recognition. Uh, they only okay. And so in conclusion. O-line is the most difficult position on the field. And football enthusiast Jose Duarte, experts considered uh, that they have the hardest job out of all positions.